Hey guys, today we're going to talk about some quick and easy encryption. Now, the encryption package we're going to be discussing today is a free application, and this application is called Encrypto. This is a closed source application, so for you open source guys out there, you might want to think twice about using it. But overall, it's a very simple application to use and gives you very positive results. I cannot speak for its complete security, but it's a damn sight more secure than not using it. This application is available for all the major proprietary operating systems, such as Macintosh and Windows, but due to its non-open source sensibilities, it is unfortunately not available for Linux. So let's get to it. Let's take an in-depth look into Encrypto and how you can use it to encrypt files and folders on your PC. Okay, to start off our Encrypto installation, I'm going to kick things off here on Windows. As you can see, I got the Windows 10 desktop. I'm going to open up the Windows default browser right here, which is Microsoft Edge. Uh, like it or hate it. That's the default browser that comes with Windows, and this is a basic Windows 10 installation. To get the uh, Encrypto website, you go to macpaw.com slash encrypto. There will be a link in the description box. You can click right over there. And this is the site itself for uh, Encrypto. This is an incredibly simple encrypt encryption package, which we're going to walk through right here to download for Windows, which I'm going to do right here. Just click on Download and the download should begin. For Macintosh, when you click on download, it'll take you to the Mac App Store. You will need a uh, an App Store login and password. Then you can go ahead and download uh, the application that way. And uh, on both occasions, on Windows and Mac, this application is completely free. So we've gone ahead and downloaded the uh, application right here for Windows. And I'm going to go ahead and install it. And obviously, I'm going to hit yes. And here we go. Do I accept the agreement? Well, of course, we have to. And install now. Yep, we'll go ahead and install it. And uh, now Encrypto is installed. As you can see, we have the Encrypto icon on the desktop right here. And now we have a welcome to Encrypto. As you can see, this is AES 256-bit encryption, so it's fairly strong encryption. Uh, we can just click Next right here and just go through each of the uh, the embedded passwords, blah, blah, blah. Shows you how to use it. You can subscribe or skip. Uh, I would say skip, but uh, your call. And here we are. This is Encrypto. This is the main Encrypto window. This is incredibly simple to use. And let me just give you a real quick demo of how you can encrypt and decrypt your files and documents. So in order to show you how Encrypto works, I'm going to create a real quick text file here. In order to do that, I'm going to use Notepad. And I'm just going to call this test one and I will go ahead and save this to the desktop and I'm going to call it test there you go and save that and we'll close that and right here as you can see here is the file test and we'll open it up there it is test one so in order to encrypt this file so no prying eyes can have access to it other than your own uh, you just go ahead and simply drag it over to the encrypto application let it go and here you go now you need to enter a password so I'm gonna enter a real pass real password that's real tough that's very hard to guess and as this file is called test the password is gonna be test so there you go and you can actually show it here if, if need be you can click show to show the the, um, the password in case you're prone to forget it and you can also put an opt optional uh, hint if you're going to do a long and complex password which is recommended a uh, hint is something that you might want to add in there uh, if you're new to encryption you should keep this in mind that once you do encrypt a file with a password if you forget or misplace that password you will never be able to access that file again so be very careful when you create your passwords, but try to make them as secure as possible. So at this point, we just go ahead and hit encrypt. 
We get some nice little animation there, and boom, there you go. There's my encrypted file. I want to go ahead and save that to my desktop right here. I'll click Save. And there it is. Encrypto has saved the encrypted file directly to the desktop right here, as you can see. So now that we have our encrypted file right here, we can go ahead and we can erase or delete the original. And just to give you an idea of what an encrypted file looks like, I'm going to go ahead and open up the file with Notepad. And this gives you some idea of what encryption looks like. Gobbledygook, I say. Good stuff, though. All right, so now that we have our encrypted file, you know how to encrypt a file with Encrypto. I'm sure you'll agree it's incredibly simple. Now let's take a look at decrypting the file on another platform, namely the Macintosh. So here we are on the uh, Macintosh. As you can see, I've installed the Mac version of Encrypto right here. And I've also copied over the uh, the text document that we uh, we created on the Windows machine over to the Macintosh also. And now the simple task remains to go ahead and decrypt this document. So I'll go ahead and drag it into the Encrypto application. It's going to ask for the password. And the password was test, so I'll go ahead and type that in. And I'll go ahead and hit enter, and it'll begin the process of decrypting the uh, the document. And now you'll see something that is not available on the Windows side of things. If you notice here next to the word test, you'll have a little eyeball icon. If I click on that, this will immediately give me access to the contents of the document. This is like a preview window that opens up so I can see exactly what's on here. It also gives me options right here to, to open in text edit, which is the default text editor on the default in installation of Mac OS. Or I can go ahead and hit the uh, the button here to send it to my mail, to messages, to notes, and then we have more options also where we can send the unencrypted text directly to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it directly to the desktop, so I'll go ahead and click Save As. I'll choose Desktop. I will click Save, and here you go. Here is the unencrypted version with Test 1, just like we created on the Windows side of things. Um, that's essentially it. That's essentially how in crypto works. Uh, go ahead and give it a shot. Try it out. See what you think. Uh, I'm going to come back again very soon with more software walkthroughs and more details on other encryption packages that you can use on Mac and Windows. And yeah, I won't forget Linux also. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you've enjoyed this video or found it instructive, please like, subscribe, and comment down below.